Why are researchers and health experts now pointing to this one pattern of how you must not be proud if you're falling asleep instantly? So this is an indirect uh, clinical sign that one is sleep deprived and that sleep deprivation in the long run will lead to a lot of uh, other maladies. There is a pattern which the sleep men sleep maintains throughout the night and that is known as the sleep architecture. And in that normal architecture, it takes 10 to 20 minutes to go to sleep. And if one is not, one is instantaneously going into sleep, that means one is not getting enough sleep. Diet, exercise and good sleep are spoken of in the same breath. Would you say that even if one of these were to be gone or not followed thoroughly, it would disrupt the whole cycle? Yeah, I would say so. But if I am asked to choose, what would you like, whether a good sleep or exercise, I would choose sleep over exercise. And the worst thing is, when you exercise, uh, when you are sleep deprived, that is worse because your cortisol levels are already high and by hitting the gym, you are making it worse. So a good sleep is the first step and the second comes the exercise and if you are sleeping well then your diet pattern improves because hunger is control is is associated with sleep there are two hormones leptins and ghrelins which are the satiety and hunger hormone if one doesn't sleep well then you tend to do binge eating and put on weight and the other hormones of the body also get disturbed like cortisol, insulin, etc. And that leads to obesity. So sleep, I think, is the beginning where diet and exercise would fall into place if you sleep well.